See the message from the United Nations to the Nigerian government after Kangara students were adopted in Niger State. You know, adopting of school students has become the new lucrative business ongoing in the North. I say that because we saw that um, an Islamic clergy, we saw the money, you know, acting at the government script is now the one doing their bidding so that they don't see, seem giving money to the bandits. Of course, uh, Zamfara state governor is the one who does the, who does the negotiations, but recently he has been in the spotlight and to avoid um, fingers being pointed at him, they've relinquished that job to the Islamic clergy who was caught in camera as we produced you that news yesterday, handing over um, money, millions of naira to those who adopted as school students. The United Nations is, however, reacting. And we want to say to you guys, please, your reaction should be faster and your implementation of words should be more prompt because a lot of issues are going on. And if you keep it, keep on, you know, taking your time before you come, a lot of issues that could have been prevented would have happened. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe if this is your first time. Thank you. The adoption of the Kangara school children has been the latest talk in the country as there have been several people reacting to this. The United States nations have also joined others to condemn the attack on Nigerian on, on Nigeria recently ongoing with attack to school. Government Science College have been asked have asked the Nigerian government to bring the corporate to book and ensure that they are properly dealt with. It will not happen, okay? You are only speaking words. It's called words. Chuck, they say it's cheap. Nothing will happen, Mr. UN. The secretary to the UN, Antony Garanta, in a statement condo sent condolences to the family of the bereaved and sympathized with those affected by the attack, even as he condemns the attack. Garanta condemned the attack on the secondary school, saying attacks on educational facilities in the country is totally unacceptable. He therefore charged the Nigerian government to, as a matter of urgency, rescue the adopted student and ensure that none of the adopters are spared, but should be punished with the full route of the law. You will recall that a bandit said to be to be in military uniform had on Tuesday attacked government science secondary school Kangara in Niger State, where some students and staffs were adopted by the bandits. They are not bandits, so the governor of the state, the governor of Niger State, said they are Fulani boys from Kaduna State, that is Erufai State. Okay, so let's refrain from use, let's use the right words for them criminals, those who are carrying out these activities. Let's not code it and make it look very nice and make them seem like they are doing a good job. They are just no, 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 they're, just, they're not just a bunch of people who are untamed, or uncivilized, unpatronized. No, 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 these are people who knows exactly what they are doing, hiding under the disguise of the government because the government of Nigeria is saying nothing doing nothing about it aiding them supporting them with their constant quiet as a matter of fact nigerians have called on muhammad buhari severally including governors saying muhammad buhari if you say you do not support this activity and criminal elements going on we want to plead your indulgence to come out openly and talk to the nigerian people talk to the people you said vote you into power yes if you say they voted you into power you went around the 36 state of the federation in 2015 soliciting for vote if you say they voted into power it's about time you address the nation you know femi adesino told us that buhari is not a talkative he cannot address nigerians nigerians should stop demanding that the president of the nation should you know should address them you know it's only nigeria where tom dick and harry are all presidency what is even presidency because they know that there is nobody responsible for the affairs of the nation there is nobody given any executive order to ensure that to show true stems of leadership what we have are just a bunch of people calling themselves uh, presidency in posters here and there doing one thing or the other except we begin to tell ourselves the truth and tell ourselves that 
the current trend of thing, things is not the acceptable way of life. I seriously doubt if we are headed any way positive at the moment because as it stands, some persons are out in Nigeria to cause atrocity. You know, the other time, um, Dan Juma was in one of the universities in the Southwest and he was given a speech in a book uh, review and he said something. He said the South should be ready that something is coming. People try to infer what he was trying to say. Today is a statement of fact what that man was trying to say because then he said he got reliable information that they were trying to infringe into the southwest the southern part of nigeria to take over you thought governor uh, hope coming in the supreme court governor to become the governor in the southeast was a mistake no a well calculated attempt so that they can have a foothold for if all the governors are together then they cannot have their say the best thing to do is make sure that there is division bring the old one out who is so desperate for power who wants to make sure at all costs he becomes the president or becomes you know first of all hope was uh, lured with uh, becoming the governor of Imo state which i mean it was like wow why not if not you know and um yeah becoming the governor that's one part then uh the governor of uh, Ebony state david umai was also lured for saying you want to become vice president there is opportunity or president better still and the same party where he was once the commissioner uh, uh deputy governor governor first tenor second tenor says has been unfair i mean i'm not a pdp or apc member whatever their decision is at the end of the day their politicians and most of them seek their own you know their own uh, 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 what's it called now their own perspective or their own gain not because they really care about the people okay so i am neither disclaimer for pdp or apc but what am i trying to say here in nigeria most of our politicians are after things for themselves not for the general good of the people hardly will we find a governor a senator a president who is sacrificial truly really to serve the people the unit un have lent their voice into the situation circumstances for currently now going on in nigeria Listen, Mr. Uh, Mr. Secretary to the UN, I want to plead your indulgence and uh, appreciate the fact that you are sending these words. They accepted, quite accepted. By the, by the way, trust me, nothing will be done, just to let you know, eh? okay, so that you can be prepared, just to prepare your mind. Nothing will be done because this message to you, the president of the nation to even address the country has not deemed it fit. So you can see where we are at the moment. Anyway, Nigerians, speaking out your voice is your responsibility. Leave us a comment. Don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. God bless you. Bye for now.